Hello and welcome to Auto Harp at the Altar. I am Bay Allen and it is my pleasure to be with you today bringing a new song. Each week right here on Auto Harp at the Altar we go into a song of the faith whether it be a modern worship song or a hymn from the days of old and we map it out um, to, to be able to hit it uh, as far as the melody line and accompaniment. So a lot of times auto harpists will just accompany while they sing but this is to also focus on getting you playing melody right away. Um, and so today we have a really good song. Uh, it's one of my favorites. I say that every week because I'm bringing songs that I really like. Uh, but the cool thing about this song is, it, I'm just pulling it right out of the hymnal. Um, the cool thing about this song is that it's an old Scottish tune. Um, I originally sang He Banks and Brays, Bonnie Adun, to it. Um, and so not only can you learn this and add it to your repertoire for church or for for worship, but this is a great Celtic tune. It's a Scottish tune um, that you can use in any setting and people will recognize the tune. So the song that we're doing from the faith is the, it has the words from Charles Wesley, Come O Thou Traveler Unknown is the song. Um, it's in the key of F. And so the, the notes that we're going to be, or the chords, I'm sorry, that we're going to be using today are, are for your one, that would be an F because it's in the key of F. So that's number one. Uh, number four will be your B flat. Okay. Because if you go up four steps, you're in B flat and that's a major chord. Um, and then your fifth will be a C, but we're going C7. We're gonna use a seven if you have it. If you don't have it, you should be fine just using a regular C. Um, and then you're gonna need the minor six, which is a D minor. And then I have an option to use the minor two as well, which would be a G minor if you have it on your harp. So we're in the key of F. But again, once we get going, I'm gonna be talking about the numbers instead of the chords. So whatever chords you have available to you, whatever keys you have available to you, I'm gonna be playing on a diatonic F today. Um, but whatever keys you have available, whether it's diatonic or chromatic, you can, you can apply it to this tune. Um, so we're gonna dig right in. I would recommend to, I always recommend getting the lyrics at least and being able to write the numbers over top of the words. But if you have a hymnal laying around, and I'll post, I'll post my picture of this on the Facebook group. If you haven't already, well, subscribe here to Auto Harp on the Altar on YouTube, but also check out on Facebook. We have an Auto Harp at the Altar uh, where we talk through these songs that we're learning each week. But the hymnal is a great way to just go ahead and write those numbers on top of it if you own your own copy of the hymnal. Um, I own a few copies of the hymnal. <laughs> um, but anyway, so other hymnals will have a lot of the same songs. So it doesn't have to be, this is a United Methodist hymn, hymnal. It doesn't have to be a United Methodist hymnal. It can be from another denomination. A lot of times you'll find these same songs. Um, anyway, I'm gonna dig right in. So as usual, I'm gonna play the song through and then we'll break down how I'm doing, what I'm doing, and hopefully we'll have a good time together. Let me get my, me get my finger picks, and we're gonna start playing. So if you don't already have your finger picks on, pause it, get your finger picks on, um, and we're gonna get into this. Oh, dropped one. Someone was asking me about what picks I use. I use a national for my thumb. Every, every musician has their own likes and dislikes, and they change over time. I was using the Dunlops for the longest time, um, but now I use these Pro Picks, or the brand. That's what they look like. So that's a single band. Then I have some with the double band, and that one's brass, and then that one's metal. So what I do is I go one is the single band, two is the single band silver, and then three is the double band brass. So one band, two band, two band brass. And that way I never have to worry which finger is which. All right, enough talk. Let's play. Come, O thou traveler unknown.
there it is, basically. I made a few mistakes and I realized, you know, um, I play this on many different harps, so I just figured I would do it on an F because it's actually written in F. Um, but when I hit that top register, I ran out of some notes. Um, and so it, you can find which harp, if you have multiple harps, it is best for it. And if you have multiple keys, like this is a diatonic, I'm locked in on F. Then you can change it so you have that upper register that you need to complete the um, the arrangement. I, I generally like to arrange and I'll kind of hit the melody line a little more simply without as much chord and then I'll do it with some chording, and then I'll oftentimes go up or down an octave and then come back for the end. Just Those are just arranging uh, stylistic things that arrangers do um, to give some variance. You don't really have to learn anything new, you're just jumping an octave and, and it adds quite a bit. Um, anyway, so let's, let's get into this. If you have your words printed out, I'm gonna go over uh, which numbers, which chords. Again, the chords you're gonna need are one, which is an F on my instrument. You're gonna need a four, which is a B flat. You're gonna need a five, which we're using the seven of five. So we're using a C7 um, chord. And then you have the minor six, which is a D minor. And if you have it, or if you wanna use it, uh, near the end of the song, you can replace a, a two, a minor two chord, which is a G minor. Those are the only chords that you'll really need today. So, come, the very beginning words. Come, 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 hold. So it's a pickup. Come, come, hold. I'll travel, travel. That's our first line. So you're on the one as it starts. You go low high. Come, oh, come, oh. So low high. Okay? And then uh, the traveler, or, and they break it weird. It sounds like it would be traveler, but it's traveler. So they break it up a little bit different. Uh, so it's come. Come, O thou five, one, five, one, one. The reason I say one twice there is because you're doing low and you can gliss high or just low high, however you want to do it. Um, I, I interchange, so it'll be like five, one, five, one. You can glissando it and it gives it a nice sweep. So I'll put a little sweep mark on my notes. Four or five, four. So that's your first line. One, come, oh, and then five, one, five, one, 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 five, four. So go ahead and practice that. One, 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 five, one, five, one, 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 five, four. So pause the video and practice that, and then come right back. Okay, welcome back. So you should have that first line good. And now we're gonna go into the next line. Next line is. So, I'll start from the first line. One, 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 five, one, five, one, 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 five, four, five, one, five, one, six, four, one. One, four, one, five. So I'm going to do that again. Um. So one, I like to just think of this all at once, but your numbers there are five, one, five, one, six minor, uh, four, one, one, four, one, five. So it's one, five, one, six, four, one, one, four, one, five. One, five, one, six, four, six, four, one, one, four, one, five. So practice that. And then come right back. 
Okay, so we should have the first two lines, which sound like this. One, 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 five, one, five, one, 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 five, four, five, one, five, one, six, four, one, one, four, one, five. And then it's one, five, six, six, five, one, five, one, 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 five, four. So the second half of this line is the same as the very first line. So once you, uh, you can kind of put a box around those if you learn that way, you can say, this is the same phrase I just did. I'm just doing it again. The second half where it gets into the five, one, five, one, and then that glissando one, and then five, four is just like in line one. So, um, So we're going to play it through here. Um, Come hold the five, one, five, one, 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 five, four, five, one, five, one, six, four, one, one, four, one, five, one, five, six, six, five, one, five, one, 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 five, four. So go ahead and practice that much. If you're writing those down, it really helps. Okay, welcome back. And so now we are going to do the fourth line, which will also be identical to the very last line of the song, if you want to bookmark that for later. Um, but the last line. So it's five, six, five, one, four, four, four. Five, four, four, and you can glist that as well, just like we did with the one earlier. You could go five, four, four, one. Okay, just strum right across it. For a glist, I'm not talking like a. I'm just talking a brief, like a straightforward, up chording glist. Yeah, that's all. So. Let's do that again. Five, six, five, four, 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 five, four, four, one. Okay, so let's practice from the beginning all the way through. One, 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 five, one, five, one, one, five, one, 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 five, four. Five one five one six four one one four one five one five six six five one five one 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 five four five six five one four 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 five four four one. Let's practice that much through, and then come back. Let's pause it and practice. Okay, so you just learned the first half of the song, or the first part, if you will, that's an A part. So our B part is now coming up, and it's, With thee all night I mean to stay, and wrestle till the break of day. And then it comes back into kind of a reprise from the beginning. So let's get into this. The beginning of our B part is, one five one four one one one. And I just put a little mark that says arpeggio because all you're doing is coming down like a one five one, but coming down so eight five one kind of thing. With the See what I mean? But you're not moving. That's all in the one chord. You don't have to do any. You don't. You, you can mess around and figure them out if you want, but this arrangement is just keeping it simple. Just hold that one chord. So it's with one five one four one 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 four one 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 four one one five. 
we're lump, lumping both those lines together. It just makes sense because it moves so quick with that one chord. So it's a uh, one, five, one, four, one, one, one. Do some practice of that. That'll help you just doing. That's a good practice to do. In any chord, it's a good practice. So you get used to the spacing. You know what I mean? Just get used to that spacing. So one more time, this part is one, one, five, one, five, one. So take those and practice it. Get that ready. We're almost done with this song. Pause it, practice, come right back. All right, welcome back. So now we get to finish off this B part. So what you just have, you should be able to play along with me if you're in the key of F, um, is one, five, one, four, one, 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 four, one, 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 Four, one, one, five, one, five, six, six, and I go to a two, but you can, you can just do the same as the last two lines of the first section if you want. That's fine. But for a variance, I'll throw, this is where I'll throw that two minor in. I'll play it both ways. You can do the same as you just did. Um, one, five, one, five, six. Six, five, one, five, one, 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 five, four, five, six, five, one, four, 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 five, four, four, one. That's identical to what we played in the first part. But if you want a variance for your ending, you can throw in that minor two chord. And so it would go like this. Um, one, five, six, Six two six two one 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 two four. Okay, so let's go over that part again because that's with the minor two instead of the major five and one. So we're going minor two to minor six to minor two. Okay, so one five six six two six two one 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 two four. Once again. One five six six two six two one 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 two four. Go ahead and pause this and practice that. Okay, welcome back. And so now the last line is identical to the line from earlier. Five six five one. Four, 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 five, four, four, one. And the song is done. So all the way through, let's play it together. Traveler Unknown. Also, uh, he banks and prays a Bonnie O'Doon, a good Robert Burns piece from Scotland. Um, yeah, so practice it. This is a really good song to add to your uh, repertoire because not only can you use it in church settings, but in traditional Celtic circles, they'll love this tune. 
um, and they'll probably know it and be able to just play with you right away. Um, a couple notes and ornamentations, and I'll post my notes on the Facebook group. Again, make sure to subscribe to this if you haven't already. Subscribe to this channel so you never miss a video. Um, but also head over to Facebook World and sign up for Auto Harp at the Altar over there where we have a community where we discuss this. But a couple notes that I have. One is I put a little line that goes, like where I do that one gliss, like that, like, like, you know what I mean? Whenever I do that kind of gliss that's just a strum, I just put a little line, a little going up to it, like one, one. Normally, I don't rewrite the same number until there's a change, I don't write it. But for those I do, it just helps me to see that it's a, it's a, a very articulated strum. Another one, I'll put these three little circles over top of a chord to show me to kind of do like a little, a little roll chord. Not a, like you would think of a roll chord and like a harp or something like that, but just a, that motion that I showed you in the previous video about just, where you're kind of doing this with these fingers and then your thumb does what it does, comes up while they're doing their thing, gives it that sweep up and back. Um, so I'll, I'll use three little circles right in a row, and you'll see my notes on the Facebook group if you join there. But I really appreciate you sticking with. I hope that you've learned this tune, uh, and it, it, you know, practice it. Add, add this to your repertoire. This is a very good song to have in your toolbox, and I look forward to seeing you next week for another song on Auto Harp at the Altar. You have a great day. God bless.